Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be checking out a new update for Oculus Link, which could be a total game changer for some of you out there. Now, Oculus Link is a feature for the Oculus Quest, which allows it to be connected to a PC using a cable, essentially turning it into a PC VR headset to play PC VR content from both the Oculus Store and Steam VR. But just note, you will need a VR capable PC for this to work, so please just bear that in mind. Now, when Oculus Link was originally introduced six months ago, Oculus stated that a good quality USB 3 cable would be required for it to work, and they even went as far as making their own $80 official fiber optic link cable accessory. Now, yesterday it was discovered by the community over on Reddit that the latest public test channel release on PC allowed for the use of a USB 2 cable meaning that the charging cable included in the box for the Oculus Quest should work as a link cable with this update. So in this video, I'll be putting the USB 2 charging cable that comes in the box with the Quest to the test, then I'll be seeing if I can extend it even further than three meters, and then finally I'll be comparing the performance against the $80 official Oculus Link cable to see if there's any difference in quality when playing PC VR content. I'll be talking more about what I think this means for the future of Oculus Link and the next Oculus headset at the end of the video. I hope you find this one useful and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get into the testing, the first thing we need to do is have the Oculus PC software installed and update it to the most recent beta by enabling the public test channel in the settings. I've included a link to the Oculus PC software in the description below if you need it. So once installed, simply navigate to settings, beta, and enable the toggle for the public test channel. This should trigger an update and restart the software. Next, we also need to ensure the Oculus Quest is up to date. In the headset, go to settings, about, and check for the latest software update. If there's one available, install it and restart your Quest. Now that everything's up to date, let's test the three meter USB 2 charging cable that comes in the box with the Oculus Quest. Now this is a USB-C to USB-C cable, so you'll need a USB-C port on your PC for it to work out of the box. Now in my testing, the charging cable didn't work when connected to the front USB-C, rear USB-C, or the USB-C expansion card from StarTech. However, it did work when using the USB-C port on my NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. Now with the charging cable connected to my NVIDIA card, I put on the Oculus Quest and got the notification to start Oculus Link in the headset, and then I was transported to my Oculus Home environment on the PC. I then tested the performance with this cable with a little bit of Beat Saber, and it was totally playable without any stuttering or loss of performance. So when you use a USB 2 cable for Oculus Link, you'll get a warning in the Oculus software like this, encouraging you to use a USB 3 cable. But so far, it worked absolutely fine. So now that we know that the USB 2 cable works, I wanted to push it a little bit further, and I had a bunch of accessories to test it with. And the first accessory was this little gem. If you don't have a USB-C port on your PC, I found that this little USB-C to USB-A dongle from Ugreen worked an absolute treat. And this meant that I could plug the cable into a USB-A port on the front of my PC, giving me a bit more cable to play with. By the way, links to these products will be in the description down below. So once the USB-C to USB-A dongle was in place, I could then test out some five meter extension cables. And I was pleasantly surprised to find out that two five meter extension cables worked without any loss in performance. The two cables that worked for me were the Cable Creation USB 3 5 meter extension and the Monoprice USB 2 5 meter extension. Again, links to both of these products are in the description below. Adding these extension cables gave me an 8 meter cable when combined with the charging cable, which meant moving around my play space wasn't a problem at all. So, with everything working great, the big question is what is the difference in performance between the USB 2 charging cable? and the $80 USB 3 official link cable. Well, for this test, I used both cables to play Half-Life Alex from Steam VR, which again, worked absolutely perfectly. And honestly, whilst in game, I couldn't tell any difference in terms of visual quality. The gameplay looked exactly the same in the headset using both cables. And this seems to be down to the bandwidth limitations of the Quest rather than the cables themselves. 
as the game image is being compressed by the PC, sent via the link cable, and then being decoded on the Quest. And the Quest decoding rate seems to cap out at around 150 megabits per second. So when we go ahead and test the cable speed in the Oculus software, you can see that the USB 2 charging cable is capable of around 344 megabits per second, whilst the USB 3 official link cable is capable of up to 1.6 gigabits per second. Now, John Carmack recently tweeted that the USB 2 cable will take several milliseconds more time to transport the data from PC to the Quest when compared to using a USB 3 cable, but I think it would be almost impossible to tell the difference. So why do we need the cable to be running at those speeds when the Quest can't process the data faster than 150 megabits per second, I hear you ask? And it's a really good question, and I'll get into that very shortly. So although there wasn't much of a difference in terms of visuals, one thing to note is that the USB 2 cable probably won't be able to charge your Quest as efficiently when playing a game at the same time as the official Oculus Link cable. Although I have to test this out further myself. So now let's jump to the outro with my conclusion and final thoughts. Okay, so there we have it. That's the recent update for Oculus Link, allowing you to connect your Quest to your PC using the charging cable that comes in the box with the Quest or any other cheap USB 2 cable or extension. I have to say I'm really impressed with the performance and this will definitely help with some of the compatibility issues we initially saw when Link first released. It also means that many of you out there will get to experience what PC VR has to offer. You know, games on the Oculus Quest are great, but when you experience the graphical fidelity and depth of PC VR content in games such as Half-Life Alex, Asgard's Wrath, and The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, you really begin to understand the true power of PC VR content. It's clear with this update that Oculus are on a path here, and the official Oculus Link cable is a future-proof piece of hardware that not only will work on the current Quest, also likely support the next Oculus headset, which many out there believe will be the next Quest and Rift combined in a single headset capable of both standalone and PC VR. And hopefully this will be able to fully take advantage of the bandwidth available in the official Oculus Link cable. So if like me, you bought the official cable, I don't think you've wasted your money. It's just a case that we'll have to wait a little bit longer until we see updates or devices capable of its true potential. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Did this update help you out? Did some of your cables now work that previously didn't? And if so, what PC VR content have you been enjoying? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.